Hi everyone, welcome to the Reading Rush Day 5. <laughs> I went to bed late again because I got my vlog up, but I still slept more than I have the past few nights. But I wanted to give you an update, so I started The Prince and the Dressmaker last night and I'm liking it so far. I'm almost halfway through and I just wanted to go to bed so I didn't finish it, but I'm really liking it so far. I really like the art. <clears throat> and honestly, the concept is just really interesting. Love that I love the dressmaker and how open and nice she is and how I love how when she was like quitting her other job, which is in like the first bit, when she's quitting her other job, her boss was like, "No, stay. Like we appreciate you because she got a better offer." And then she's like, "No, I quit. Bye." And like went to do this random thing when she's making dresses for the prince. So they both have to hide the fact that she's making dresses for him and I, mm, it's good. Today's Instagram challenge is more of like a food related one. So you have to take a f photo of a book and have food or like drinks around it and stuff like that. So I haven't done that yet. And it's still early, it's only 9.30. The video challenge today is like more of a bookish art creativity thing. So you could do like a drawing, a painting, you know, makeup, you could do whatever you want. So that was hosted by Christina Marie, who I love. I'm really excited for this one. Appointment this morning, and then I wanna go to my Nona's house because I have been in like, you guys have seen through the vlogs that I've gone out and stuff, but I really want a day where I could just go out and just forget about some stuff for a bit and like get away from like, I just need a break <laughs> from the some of the readathon stress. I, I am gonna be taking little clips while I'm there and stuff like that, but I was debating going or not. I was not gonna go because I thought I had to stay home and do all the reading rush stuff. But, you know, I'm almost done my seven books. I really don't have to. And yeah, I don't need stress because this readathon is about having fun, which is something I think I usually forget every year. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that and I'm like, gotta get all the vlogs up, gotta read all the books today, <clears throat> gotta do all the challenges. And yeah, so today is gonna be kind of just like a breather day for me. I'm gonna finish the graphic novel, maybe start something else, we'll see. But I'm gonna take it easy today because I've read six books and over a thousand pages so far, so I'm doing fine for the readathon. So, we good. So it, so it is currently nine o'clock. I haven't updated you all day. Spending time with family the entire day, which I do not regret at all. I'm so, so happy I did that. But I feel extremely guilty that I did not vlog or that I did not, I don't have footage for day five. I only have, the Prince and the Dressmaker are finished, and then I'm also gonna read a volume of Black Butler and then watch an episode of the anime to do that challenge, and then I'm good. So, extremely stressed, and mental health-wise, I'm just like, no. Break from the internet. <laughs> like, I just need, yeah, I've been, no. <laughs> so I just got out of the bath, and it's been about an hour maybe, but I end up finishing The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Super great read. I think this is, I'm so happy this is YA as well. And I just think, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm thinking I'm giving it a solid four. I really liked the art style and I really liked the representation that it wasn't like super labely. Like it wasn't like, oh, he's wearing dresses because he's this or because he's that. It was just like, he wants to wear dresses. So he wears dresses and that's fine. I thought that was really beautiful and well done and it just made me really happy. The art was beautiful, the dresses were beautiful. I think a lot of people, a lot of people have read this already, but I think a lot of people are gonna really enjoy this one. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this and I hope you guys pick it up. lighting is really orange but I just finished black butler volume one this was a reread for me i have read this before and the first time i read it i think i gave it around in like a three point something and i still kind of agree with that i have read the first six or so and like they were all like good but like i didn't fall in love with the series i love i love the art style i love how these characters look they look amazing and like i 
I like I already love these characters and I love like the comedic moments with all the other characters too and how badass Sebastian is and CL and yeah I love the characters but the first volume is really jumpy in my opinion and it's also very info dumpy which is kind of expected with the first volume but there is I think better ways of you know distributing that information and like telling you all of that information than what it was in here getting there's just like huge text boxes full of like just information and it's not too text heavy but it's just to be noted I guess I think they could have spread that out a bit better in my opinion but yeah, so I think I'm still going to give it a three point something. I do like this though, and I'm probably going to reread the other ones at some point too, so then I can get back into this series, just because I do like the, over the overall concept of it, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs>